Welcome everyone to Pokemon White Version! Now first of all, I know what some of you are going to be saying as soon as you see this video. You're going to be saying, Hey Shiny, but Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon just came out, you know, a few weeks ago. Why aren't you LPing that? Well, the biggest reason why is because I had actually already mentioned several times throughout the Pokemon Let's Plays that I wanted to LP, you know, f the 5th generation first. And here it is. Now, yes, I will be doing Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon eventually, through some time. Um, I'm pretty sure that I'll be getting around to it soon. But then again, there is still White 2 that I need a lot to play after this. I don't know if it'll be immediately after. But basically, as far as the core Pokemon games, Gens 1 through 7, I've let's played one game of every single Gen except for Gen 1 and Gen 5. But here's Gen 5 being taken care of right now. So here's a white version. Let's begin. Uh, yeah, as far as Gen 1 goes, you know, obviously I I don't have, um... Like, there's no DS games, you know, for the for Gen 1. I could do Fire to Leaf Green. That's for GBA, though. But, you know, that's GBA. I, uh, I don't have my Game Boy Player anymore. I got rid of it. So here's Professor Juniper, the Pokemon Professor. Yes, back when this game came out. Um, you know, breaking the whole stereotype. It must be a male professor, yes. Breaking gender roles or gender stereotypes, whatever the fuck you want to call it. So as you already know, the intro is pretty much the same. You know, among all these freaking Pokemon games. I mean, really, it was Generation 7 that was very different. Even Pokemon X is kind of the same. Like the whole intro, like, oh yeah, you know. So we live in a world of Pokemon, yeah, whatever, whatever. Uh, boy or girl? Well, I'm gonna be a boy. Although I love how, how the girl looks in this one, like, I love that attire so much, especially the hair. I mean, the hair come out with the attire, it looks like a punk girl or something, <laughs> I don't know. But like I was saying before, my plan is to actually eventually, like, once I let's play one of every single generation, except maybe Gen 1, unless they would remake Gen 1 again, for the 3DS, or the Switch or something. Uh, my plan is to actually eventually do the second version, but playing as the other gender and playing with a different starter. Just to kind of mix things up a bit, you know? I think that would that'd be pretty interesting because, I mean, generally speaking, Pokemon games are... Like, they have really nice replay value, and the main reason why is because of the gimmick, in terms of, like, you know, you get to choose your Pokemon, you get to choose your actual team. And that's exactly why the replay value is so great in Pokemon games. So to me, you know, just like, again, playing as the other gender... Charon, okay. Huh. But yeah, like I was saying, you know, playing as the other gender, and... having a different starter, and really having an entirely different team, like not a single one of the same Pokemon, on the second playthrough of the other version, that'll actually make it interesting, right? And, like, rewatchable. I would say. At least I would say so. I don't know if I'm right about that. Or I don't know if you watching right now, if you're a viewer that's like, nope, I'm only gonna watch, like, Heart Gold, and if you do Soul Silver, I'm not watching it because I already saw the game. Because they're technically the same game, just different Pokemon. And that's it, you know? Alright. Game Freak Presents. You know, when this game came out first, I, um... I thought it was really interesting on how, like, obviously it's still a, it's not a completely 3D game as you can see, but it, it did actually look a lot different than Gen 4. And I was like, oh, that's a really nice upgrade. And then Gen, Gen 6 came out and I was like, holy shit, that's an entire 3D, like, version of Pokemon now. We haven't seen this since, like, Pokemon Coliseum, or sorry, Pokemon XV. Like a campaign Pokemon game, 3D, you know, that's, yeah. Really? Okay. Oh! There we delivered here. Okay, one thing I should mention. I have not actually beaten Gen 5 ever in my life. It is the only generation I have left to beat. 
Really, the only one. Okay, let's go to options first. Attack speed fast, battle scene off, battle style set, sound, whatever. Save before IR. Kids of shit, okay, and then that's it. Okay. Shiny, open the gift box. I brought three Pokemon, one for you and one for each of your friends. Please settle your choices politely. Enjoy your Pokemon. Politely. You're right. This is war. Okay. Choose a Pokemon. Tepi. It's like, okay. This... Oh my god. This generation has the shittiest starters ever. I don't like all three of them. Um, first of all, Tepic has really high attack, but it is... Ugh. Its other stats are... They're not good. Snivy just sucks offensively, and I guess defensively too. It's just really fast. Oshawott has, I think, higher attack than special attack, which isn't all that bad, especially because Razor Shell is a physical. Uh, but if I remember correctly, its stats aren't all that amazing either, although I think it's... I guess in my opinion, Oshawott it would be the better choice, but I'm not picking Snivy for sure. Um, you know what, I'm gonna go with Oshawott. Even though I just, in the last Pokemon Let's Play, I just went with the water again, Kermit. I mean, I named him Kermit, but Froakie, you know? What should I name Oshawa? Pokemon Battle? Shouldn't have Pokemon Battles inside a house. That's happened before in Pokemon games, you know? Even though most battles are outside. Pokemon Trainer Bianca. Send out Tepe. Okay, so you have the type of uh, disadvantage. I see, I see. Alright, so what I got is in terms of moves here. Let's see. I got Tackle and Tail Whip. Obviously, I'm going to use Tackle. Oh no, you tackled me. How dare you. Okay, Tackle. Yeah, by the way, one thing that's really interesting about this game, or really Gen 5 in general, is that there's actually no, um, to, please don't miss. Wait, actually, was this the generation where tackle was buffed up to 50, 100? Or is it still 35, 95? I'm not sure if it was 5 or 6, the, the generation that happened. I know in Gen 4 it's still 35, 95. So if it's 50, 100, it's actually, it can't miss. Unless you reduce your accuracy or something, you know? No doubt, if you heard a chime, that's my phone actually going off. I got a text, and I forgot to silence it. Damn it. I usually silence it in Let's Plays, which is why you never hear it, you know? Oh, it's okay. My room is messed up, but whatever. Oh yeah, but what was I saying? Uh, oh yeah, then in Gen 5, yeah, in Gen 5 in general. Not just white, but you know, black. And I guess white 2 and black 2 as well, maybe. I'm not, I'm not sure about white 2 and black 2. But I do know that in terms of the Pokemon roster, there are only Gen 5 Pokemon throughout the entire game. It's only until post-game when you get the National Pokédex when you can actually, um, catch Pokemon from other Gens. But for the entire campaign, until the Elite Four, there are only Gen 5 Pokemon. So I'm sorry if you like Pidgeys or Raditans in the beginning of the game. They're not gonna be here. They're not. Pokemon Trainer Charon sent out Snipe. Okay, now you have attack advantage here. I'm gonna be careful here. Wait, did I level up from beating that Tepe? No, I didn't. I almost level up. Okay, as you can see, Snivy's fast, like I was saying. Uh, speed is actually Snivy's best stat. This ain't good, though, because if you tackle me two more times, I might die. I'm gonna survive with one HP, holy shit, unless I get a bad RNG. Do I have an item? No, I don't. I can only attack. I mean, it's honestly luck-based if I win or lose here. Shit. You've gotta be kidding me. Are you Really? Really? Did you really just crit me? Oh my god. Oh my god, game. Don't get me started on this bullshit. Seriously? What is this bullshit? What? I'm mad. There's a problem here. I'm mad. I lost. Because of a stupid critical hit. I would have survived with 1 HP, dude. Oh my god. I'm very sorry about all the trouble. Yeah. Whatever. Seriously, some serious bullcrap just happened, man. What is this? What the hell is this? Get out of here. 
stupid people. Okay. Mama is shiny. Yes, yes, you're lively, I know, I know. Uh, yeah, because my Pokemon's fainted. Because of this. Okay, I need to shut up about that now, seriously. I need to get over that. The X Transceiver! Well. I was actually gonna be like, oh, let's see if in this generation I can actually go through the entire game without losing a single Pokemon battle. Nope! I already blew that in, um. In 10 minutes of this Let's Play, I already blew it. Juniper Pokemon Lab. Okay. Wait, do I really not start with running shoes? What? Okay. Wait, what's up there? Oh, okay, shut up. No, I, I didn't mean to do that. Wait, but I can't go in the lab, you idiot. Oh, yeah. I need to go to Bianca's house. That's right! Whose house is this? Okay, good. Uh, let's go in here. Bianca, you want to team up with me so we can beat up Sharon? Because obviously, I can't beat him alone because uh, the game's gonna put crits against me, you know? It's fine. Uh, okay, yeah, sure. Let's go. What do you have to say? Okay, I need to move faster. Because um, this non-running shoes shit is a uh, nope, nope. Mm -mm. I'm not about that life. The hell was that? Why did it zoom in that much? Does it always zoom in when you enter important buildings? Like I said, I don't know much about Gen 5. Really, it was Gen 5, 6, and 7, which I didn't really know much about. But playing Pokemon Moon and then Pokemon X, it really taught me a lot, you know? Also, wait a minute, is there seriously no L equals A option in this freaking game? I need to look at the options again. Um... You know, normally I... Oh my god. You know what? For this Let's Play, I'm actually not gonna do it. Just cause... I kind of want to see, you know, in all the other Pokemon Let's Plays, I've nicknamed all of my Pokemon, and this one, I'm just going to do it normally, you know, the normal names, and if people don't like that, because I kind of want to compare if people prefer the nickname Let's Plays or the non-nickname Let's Plays, or if people don't even give a shit about it, I mean, I'm pretty sure most people don't really care, um, but, yeah. The best possible answer. Why, yes. I already know. Alright, on to route one. What? What do you want? Oh, I was waiting for running shoes, not town maps. I mean, thanks for the town map, but... Uh, you know, that's not really... What I was looking for. I prefer the running shoes. Okay, I see. Wait, do I need to let my parents know? Let me go talk to my mom again. To see what she actually says. Hello, you. Oh. Oh, never mind. Okay, I don't need to. Screw that. Alright, where you at? Oh my god. What, what the hell is this? This is so corny. This is so this is so cheesy but in a funny way. Okay, sure. There's Juniper. Alright, hello Juniper. Yep, 
Yeah, you know, the, the thing that I already know about how to do. Oh, damn it, I forgot the L equals A again. Damn it. A wild Patrat appears. Hey, that's a shitty Pokemon. Patrat. He evolves into some tall beaver, and I forgot the name, but um, it's a pretty shitty Pokemon. From what I know, at least. Oh, you have a Minchino, which is actually not that bad, right? Actually, no, I don't know. Or is, or is it a bad one? I forgot. Gotcha, the trap was caught. Nice. Shiny obtain Pokeballs. Cool. <laughs> she forgot. You're freaking criticizing her. Then again, you are the champion at this game so far because you are undefeated. So I think you have the right to say that. Okay, let's go. Let's go up north. Our first wild Pokemon battle. What could it be? It is... Ooh, it's actually a Lillipup. Lillipup is a... It's a pretty good Pokemon from what I remember because uh, I think it evolved into Stoutland. Which doesn't have bad stats at all. Man. What the hell? Okay, five Pokeballs. So what I could do... You know, you should be level 6 by now, I show up, but then again, you died, so... Yeah, you know. Let me try to capture you. I don't know if I'm going to use you. I actually might, but I, I'm pretty sure it will. Because Little Pup is cool. I like Stoutland. Okay, got you. The only thing is, though, I mean, it's a normal type. I think just a pure normal type. Usually that generates issues later in the game, because also normal type is a very good defensive type, being immune to one type and being only weak to one type, neutral to everything else, it's one of the worst offensively, having no super effectiveness, as you know, um, and being resisted by rock and steel and ghost being immune to it. So, yeah, you know, also please don't tell me these are fucking trainers. Okay, they're not. Oh, you gave me a potion! How nice! How nice of you! Wait. Also, interesting that they actually put water in the first root of the game. Wow. That's pretty unique. What the hell is this? A fence? I think? Okay. Yes, I see that. Don't you dare fight me again! Stupid Sharon. Another Lillipup. This one I can actually go after. And it'll also put Oshawott at level 6 by doing this. Okay, tackle him. Nice. Critical. Oh yeah, let me quickly see the whole L equals A thing, you know, that I don't know much about. I need to take a look at that. So, options. Dude, are you kidding me right now? Why did you take out that option and then you put it back in Gen 6? You're so stupid, Game Freak. Alright, let's go. Uh. We all have the same number then. Huh. So everybody has two, which means they caught one here. X Transceiver. Hello, how's everybody doing? You and your Pokemon are getting along great now, right? Oh, Professor, right now I'm in front of Accumula Towns. Okay, cool. Pokemon Center, then. Yeah, sure, let's go. Accumula Town. Hello, you. Traveling with your Pokemon is truly one of the joys of being a trainer. Please follow me. Okay, can I please get some fucking running shoes? Like, seriously, I just want some running shoes. 
the tour. Okay, this one is gonna mash quickly because I'm sure you know. This right is the Pokemon Center. They heal your Pokemon. Just simply dump your Pokeballs in there, and they will heal them completely. As you already know. Thank you. The PC. Yep, I know. Again, I'm just mashing this because you already know this is basic Pokemon logic. If you've played Pokemon before, you already know how this works. Huh, okay. Here's the item store. When you get to Striaton City, go and meet an adventurer named Fennel. She's a friend of mine from long ago. Okay. Cool. Alright, so we're all done here. I'm not buying shit. <laughs> Screw this. I'm out of here. I have four Pokeballs left. That's more than enough. Can you people shut up? I'm just, I just want to move around and play. So many cutscenes. I mean, that's... Okay, thank you. Oh, wait, what? Something is going on over there, actually. Let's go take a look. Let's spy. Oh my god, it's Assassin's Creed. What the hell? My name is Getsis. I am here representing Team Plasma. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to talk to you about Pokemon Liberation. I'm sure most of you believe that we humans and Pokemon are partners, that we have come to live together because we want to need each other. However, is that really the truth? Have you ever considered that perhaps we humans only assume that this is the truth? Pokemon are subject to the selfish commands of the trainers. They get pushed around when there are partners at work. Can anyone say with confidence that there is no truth in what I'm saying? I mean, I am the one always mashing what command to tell a Pokemon, so I am 100% in control of them. So I see what you're saying, Getsis. I see what you're saying. Mm-hmm. That's right. We must liberate the Pokemon. Then and only then will humans and Pokemon truly be equals. Everyone, I and my words here today, by imploring you to consider the relationship between people and Pokemon and the correct way to proceed. We sincerely appreciate your attention. Well, that was a nice formation. Okay. How about that speech? What do you think we should do? Liberate Pokemon? That's not even possible. <laughs> it's like in real life, you know? People... People can see the problem, but they never act on it. Like, you know, you see all these things on social media about these people talking about issues about, you know, our society and all that stuff, like, because they're SJWs. But then... It's like, okay, yeah, you can obviously spot at the problems, but what, what's the solution? And it's hard, like, I don't blame them for not knowing the solution because it's hard to make a change in life, and I'm not saying that to be pessimistic, it's just reality, you know? It's very difficult to change something about the world. Uh, did you really just challenge me again? Oh wait, that's my bad, I thought it was, okay. Because isn't Sharon standing next to me? Oh my god, these levels. Don't fuck around. Oh my god. Okay. I might actually lose here. I don't know. Do I have any po potions? I probably don't. And that sucks. Scratch. Please just don't crit me because last time I died to a crit and that was bullshit. Yeah, I killed you. Nice. Level 7. Are you gonna learn to move? Yes! Water gun, thank god. Okay, cool. What? Oh hell yeah, I, I will take this. I will take this level 8. Gladly. Okay. Yeah, you do that.
Okay. I didn't go back and heal because my Oshawa took a serious beating from that battle. Because as you can see, I was actually- Oh my god, can I get a freaking running shoes already? Let me check my key items, maybe I did get something. Something that speeds me up. Okay, all done. Let me also check out the other buildings though, because I didn't really check everything out. Let's see here. What's down here? What's that? These random patches of grass. Nothing? Okay. Here's a building. Oh my god. Let me check my bag. All I have is this. I have one potion, four Pokeballs. Man, I am ready for a journey, aren't I? Yes, I know. Okay, what's upstairs? Anything interesting? Anything juicy? You look promising. Are you gonna give me something? Nope. Well, screw you. Okay, I want. I just want items. I mean, that's really the only reason why I ever go in all the buildings on Let's Plays because I want to. I want to talk to everybody because somebody might give you items. You know, like you get free. You get a lot of free shit in Pokemon games. You really do. If you just keep playing and playing. And talking to everybody that you see at least once. Only this would be a lot easier if I actually had a damn way to move faster. Like seriously. Okay, so there's these two people out here. I know that. Okay, so I can go up there. That's actually it on this side, right? Let me see. Yes, okay. Um, before I go up there, I want to go in these two buildings. Hello, you. Oh, great. Okay, so everybody's pretty much useless in this game so far. I haven't gotten a single free item in this game. I wonder who will be the first. Who shall be the first? Well, nobody there. Hey look, it's uh, another Pat Rat, or Patrat, whatever. Pokeball, finally the first free item. Thank you. What about this little kid? Um, fire. I beat you. Oh, what? Okay, whatever, screw you. Damn it, I thought I was gonna get something for beating you in rock, paper, scissors. But I guess not. That's not the way life works, people. Alright, so here's a route. What is this place? Does this lead to route 2? Oh my god, it actually shows the date on this stupid thing. Okay, that's route 2. Um, I don't want to go there yet. Because there's actually an upstairs on the right side of the town that I saw. And I want to check that out first. Also because I'm pretty sure that in the next video I'm going to be... Uh, you know, finally beginning the big long journey. Oh, what the hell? I see two items over there. That's interesting. Okay, here's a building. Let's enter this building. Yes. That's cute. Nice music. Oh my god, they actually stay. I thought it would just be inside the building, but I guess not. Alright, well I'm gonna end it right here. Um, in the next episode, I will begin with Route 2. Although, one thing I should probably do is get Lillipup up to Oshawott's levels, because there's gonna be trainers. Um, as you already know, I pretty much never grind. Do you have an item on you? What the hell? Potion. 
As you already know, I pretty much never grind in Pokemon games except in the very beginning to catch up like the weak Pokemon that I get to match up with my starter. So I might just grind up Lillipup. Um, but aside from that, that's gonna be pretty much it. Yeah. So, if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I'd appreciate it very much. Thank you. And as always, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great and fantastic day.